So hi, this is Steve with ISP Supplies, and today I want to tell you about our SimPro application, which is uh, an application we've developed to assist our customers in provisioning their LTE UE devices and the associated SIM cards that go with those. So if you're a customer of ISP Supplies, you've probably uh, bought SIM cards, hopefully, from us and received an email that looks very similar to this one. This email has attached to it a plain text file, a CSV file, that contains the data that is uh, encoded on each of those SIM cards that you purchase from us. So that's one way that you can get uh, that SIM data into your EPC uh, HSS function so that those SIMs can be authenticated at your installation. But now we've got another way and that is through this SimPro application. So if you look in the email that you receive, there'll be a link for sims.ispsupplies.com, which is this website. And if you are the person that is receiving the email, that means your email address is already in our system. All you need is a password, which we have uh, set up for you, a random password. And uh, so the first thing you'll want to do is to recover that password so that you can log into your particular installation. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, the customer that has given me uh, permission to use his information. So I'll just uh, input that, I'll hit send request, and now an email has been sent to me with a password that's been created for this particular user. So I've uh, already checked my email, I know what the password is, I've input it into the username and password blank here, and I'll go ahead and sign into the application. So once I'm signed in, my name appears here at the top, along with all of the SIM cards that I have purchased from ISP Supplies. So every time you purchase another SIM card, it will be added into your particular uh, section of the program and into your, uh, your partition of the database. So a couple of things you can do here. First of all, um, we're going to search for an IMSI or actually an ICCID number so that we can get to the IMSI. So the ICCID, this number here, this is what is printed on the SIM card itself. And so if you're looking in your EPC and trying to figure out which customer uh, you're looking at, you can't do it from the ICC ID. You have to do it from the MC number. So we have to have a way to find that MC. So in this case, I'll just input the ICC ID. I'll hit search, and there's the MC that I would be looking for within my EPC. Another feature that we've added here is a UE provisioning blank. This is a free form uh, field that you can put in the name or address of the customer that you have provisioned the SIM card. So this is kind of a missing link in Breezeview right now and so we've added it in for you. If you want to change that customer provisioning, you select the line, you make whatever changes you want to to that provisioning blank and you click this update UE provisioning and you will get a pop-up telling you that it's been done correctly. If we want to go back to the beginning, we can click the SimPro link here at the top, and now we see all of the uh, SIM cards that have been provisioned to us. The next thing we might want to do is to go in and download the CSV data for some particular cards. In this case, I'll only do the ones that I have provisioned to customers. So I'll simply select them and click this button, and you can see it is now downloading a CSV file with all of this information for only those particular customers. Also from this blank, we can go in and make changes to one of the provisioned UEs. So in this case, uh, I'll select none of them. I'll make the change I want to make here. Select that row and say update UE provisioning for selected. And I get uh, feedback that that has taken place. The next feature that we've added here is one that I really like, and it's the ability to select fields or SIM cards in your database and then create a script for those particular SIMs so that they can be put into your EPC. So to do that, I select the rows that I want to provision. I click the button that says Create Script, and now in this button I have two different scripts. 
I'm only going to use one of these depending on the type of installation that I have. So let's assume now that I'm using static IP addresses with my customers. Then I want to use this one that's called static PDN. I always begin by copying this and then pasting it into a clean text document. So I'll go ahead and paste that in. The only things that I need to change here are the speed profile and the actual IP address I'm going to allocate to this customer. Now you might notice that we have put in a one by one profile. The one by one profile you may not have allocated, but it might be a good idea to go ahead and add a one by one profile to all of your sims before they're actually reprovisioned for an installation. This way each time a technician goes out on site they have the ability to get internet access, test the installation, and then go into Breeze View themselves and make the speed uh, profile selection there from the customer location. If you don't want to do that you can just go in and change each of these speed profiles to match the profile that the customer is purchasing from you. In this case we'll just put in some example profiles we've already created in our EPC. The second thing you need to do on the static PDN is put in the IP address that you're going to allocate to these customers. In this case uh, we're going to use these uh, public addresses and we'll use them consecutively and then these are the IP addresses that will be allocated to these customers. Once you've set those two things, the speed profile and the IP address, you can simply copy that to your clipboard, paste it into your EPC into the command line. Once you've entered the configure section of the CLI, paste those in and then commit at the end and those will be in production for your HSS system. The other thing we might want to do is if we're using a pool PDN, which is kind of like DHCP, where we automatically assign addresses from a pool, you can do the same thing here. All you do is go in, paste it into your empty text document, and the only thing we have to change at this point is a speed profile. Everything else will stay the same when we're using the pool type PDN. So I went in, I put in the uh, speed profiles for these particular customers. Once again, I can copy that to my clipboard, paste it into my terminal, commit it, and then these will be in production on my network. If you forget which one to use, there is uh, some instructions here that appear on this page. So that's about it uh, for this particular tool, and I think you'll find it very handy to not only track your SIM cards, but be able to provision them in a very fast manner. We'll continue sending you the CSV files when you buy your SIM cards and UEs from ISP supplies, but you'll still have access to this database at all times, even when you may not have uh, access to that CSV file. And as you buy more SIMs, once again, they'll automatically be added to your partition of the database. The last thing you might want to do is to change your password, and that can be done from this screen. Simply click the down arrow next to your username, click the change password, put in your new password, confirm it here, save changes, and now your password is saved. So that's it. That is the SimPro application. We hope you'll find it useful. If you have any questions, you can call us at ISP Supplies. Uh, either speak to the guys in the shipping department or our technical support. Either one will be able to help you. Thanks a lot, and we hope you enjoy the application.